Good morning. I'm so happy you're awake. Hi. <laughs> yeah, so Hazel usually wakes up around 10, 10 a.m. And it's 10 a.m. Good morning. We have a pediatrician appointment today at 11.30. Our first pediatrician appointment. Are you ready? Are you ready, girlfriend? Me too. And voila! Just like that, you're dressed. Oh, sucking on some dew drops. And it's kind of cold outside. It's cold and rainy today. So we got our sweater on. And you're ready to go to the doctor. What do you think about that? Hey! Oh. Well, I gotta go get dressed. I gotta go get dressed still. Then we can go. Okay? Super rainy. And super cold. Super cold. Super Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Hurry up. Hurry up, Dad. Hurry up, Dad. We're leaving. Let's go. We're all ready to go. Little Miss is in. Dad is going to drive. And I'm going to sit in the back with her because she hates being in her car seat. <laughs> so off we go. So before Dad can even get in the car, I just heard her make an explosion. You just got in here. You just pooped. Oh my goodness, we're going to be late. No coffee stop for mom. I'm debating on going back inside or changing her in the car. Oh my goodness, I wonder what dad's going to say. She just pooped. She just pooped. Yeah. yeah, like, I think it was a big one. Do you want to wait till we get there and change her? Or you just open the trunk again. Oh my goodness, this day is already so crazy. What do you think? I don't know. Can you wait six minutes till we get there? Hey, could you blow through your white pants? I really hope you didn't. Okay, let's go. get lost in here real quick. Hi. Hi. That's a cute mouth. Oh. Hi. You weigh how much? 14? 14 pounds and 3 ounces. Oh, 2 ounces. <laughs> Sorry. I gave you an ounce. I cheated. Hey. hey, okay, let's just wait, we we'll wait for the doctor. So we just got home. It's about 1.30. Um, I'm talking kind of quiet because she's napping. I'm in her room, but she's napping in the next room. So I'm going to pump a little bit right now while she naps, and then I'm going to relax. Hopefully she'll nap a little bit longer. Um, but the pediatrician went really well. She weighs 14 pounds and 2 ounces. Um, she'll be 3 months old on the 29th, so she's gaining really well. And after we went to lunch, but I didn't tape it because it was really loud and it was just fast. So, but I'm going to pump right now and then I will see what else the day brings. So Hazel just woke up from her nap. It is three o'clock. Hi. 
and I had to change her outfit because like I said she destroyed those pants we actually ended up tossing them so she's just wearing this little outfit now hey and I think she might be hungry is that fist in your mouth a sign of hunger <laughs> So, yeah, I'm going to go try and feed her, and then we're actually going to my mom's house tonight, because um, I promised her we would go swimming with her, so we're going to go swimming in the morning, and she lives about a 40 minute drive away, so once Oliver goes to work, we're going to leave too, and go to my mom's house and have a sleepover with Nana. <laughs> so I've just been packing while she was sleeping. I didn't rest like I said I was going to. All right, let's go get something to eat. Let's go. Hi. It's that lovely time of day again. <laughs> is it tummy time? Her new thing is burying her head in anything she's laying on. <laughs> hey. This will be short lived, won't it? This will be short lived. Hey! Hi, Mama's girl! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go help her out a little bit. Abu! Oh, what do you see? Abu! 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 Hey, Abu! Abu! What are you doing? Are you back on your back? <laughs> You're back on your back? Oh. Yeah, you having fun? Are you having fun? Yeah? <laughs> okay, well we have to go soon. Yes, we do. <laughs> okay, we can play a little more. But then we gotta go. got lots of little toys here. Hey, lots of little toys, but you'd rather look at me. You want me to talk to you? Can you talk to me? Talk to me. Tell me story. Tell me story. <laughs> Don't look at me like she mean mugs. Mean mugger. You mean mugger. All right, so Oliver just left for work and I just fed Hazel and we're going to go to my mom's house here in a minute. I'm just putting some stuff away from when she had that explosion, trying to get the stain out of um, some stuff. But I want to know who else has this issue with their babies. Is laundry and clothes. So this bin here is supposed to be the dirty laundry bin. Um, but it has some clean laundry in there that I still have yet to put away. And the dirty laundry is beside the dirty laundry bin. No, oh, she just dropped her pacifier. So the clean laundry, or the, the dirty laundry is beside the dirty laundry bin. And then in the living room, I have a pile of dresses that I still yet have to put away for summer. A pile of clothes that I just have to put away. A pile of clothes that I want to bring to a consignment store and a pile of stuff that I want to give away. So it constantly is like this. Just piles of clothes everywhere. And I'm not sure if it's a thing or if we're just really busy, messy people. But I have to get that under control. And every time I try to get it under control, I just feel like there's more clothes that I've bought or more things that have to be put away. So... Yes, I feel that way. But, yeah, I'm just going to pack everything in the car and we're going to get going. Hmm? So this will probably be the end of um, my day in the life. Sorry if it's hard to hear. I am have you on my steering wheel. But 
<laughs> I'm on my way to my mom's house right now and it is a horrible time to be on my way. Everybody is off of work and traffic is at a standstill and I just hate, hate, hate the road that I have to take to my mom's house um, from where we live. So um, that's what's happening right now and it's going to probably be like this for about 20-30 minutes which is too long because Hazel absolutely already hates being in her seat and she doesn't like being at a standstill in traffic um, in her seat and then she cries and I just have to, there's nothing I can do just have to listen to her crying and that's one of the number one things that I hate more most in the whole world is just her crying and there's absolutely nothing that I can do about it <laughs> that's why I like somebody else to drive and I like to sit in the back with her because I can at least try and console her and um, and help her out a little bit but it's starting to rain here traffic is really crappy and Hazel's gonna start crying so I'm gonna go and end this video but um, I really do look forward to and hope to make more in the future so thank you guys for watching <laughs> bye